Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. We're continuing Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition on the Genghis Khan campaign. Mission 2, A Life of Revenge. I think this will be our first moderate difficulty macro build and destroy mission. Let's check it out. Winter has come to the steppes. The earth is frozen hard as bone, and the only movement is the steam rising from the nostrils of men and horses. Only the promise of battle brings warmth. Nearly all of the tribes in Mongolia now answer to Genghis Khan, but with success comes enemies. A man named Kushluk has challenged Genghis's right to rule. Kushluk sows discord among the Karakatai Khanate and means to have himself proclaimed as a rival Khan. Genghis cannot allow these transgressions to go unpunished. He needs to set an example, so we ride west to find and slay Kushluk. If the Karakatai shelter him, then their lives are forfeit as well. All right, kill the traitor Kushluk. Prevent the tent of Genghis Khan from being destroyed. It's labeled as a wonder. I assume that's what I'm looking at here. So the Mongolian wonder, wonder must be the tent. All right, restricted to castle age, population limit of 125. And I guess definitive edition made it so that a lot of these missions have an increased population limit. They used to be a lot lower. So that's nice, I suppose. The Karakatai will likely seize the initiative and attack early. Since they are unfamiliar with siege weapons, constructing towers may be an effective form of defense. The Mongols do not yet know how to build siege workshops, so no siege weaponry on either side here. And to persuade the Taichuds to join you, first kill all of their soldiers. Okay. Assembled in the east to defend the Great Khan's tent palace against the nefarious Karakitai. In the north lies a small Taichud settlement. I can see it on the map here. There's purple right there. And then it just says they have cavalry archers, so we just focus on those, and then the, the base, I guess, will fall under our control. So that's got to be priority number one. Uh, the red Karakitai control the center of the map with a large camp and many soldiers. The insurgent Naiman are led by Kushluk, who is currently visiting the Karakitai camp. And it kind of explains what they have in each of these armies, but uh, we can kind of worry about that later. For now, let's get started. Got to go for that uh, Taichud base. Here's our wonder. Got some camel riders, cavalry archers, light scouts. I so spotted a Taichud village to the north. Perhaps the inhabitants can be persuaded to join us. Okay, again, that's priority number one, so let's just go straight for it. Also, let me check my civ bonuses one more time. Right, cavalry archers are better. That's also our unique unit, is like a better cavalry archer. Uh, okay, so our light cavalry line up to Hazars are beefier. Hunters work 40% faster. I must have missed that on the first mission. That's actually really good. And, like, these texts really intrigue me. I don't know where we research those, but I, I don't... I guess the Lost Houses do not decrease population headroom doesn't seem super important once you can get to it in the late game. Okay, we start in the Dark Age. So my very first... My initial thought is, like, we really need to try to focus on getting up to Castle Age, like, as fast as possible. All right, we found their base. Let's get in there. Don't kill the villagers, because supposedly they'll join us later. Okay, very nice. We can aid in your blood okay, so this is my base now, and our hunters work faster, so this is exactly how we're going to play it. And let's get a mill real quick, just to kind of sit out here so that we can harvest the food a little bit faster from these, these wild animals. Uh, okay, so let's send our, our scouts around. I guess we could put them on auto scout. Just want to select one, please. So there's a lot of space between us and, like, the tent. So there's no defense around the tent. It said that we should consider making... Okay, well, there's some trees. We got some gold right by. So is there a lot of way to get up here, maybe? So we have access to some basic resources all around us. So that's a big bonus. And I want to get a lot of vision around me where possible. Let's go ahead and throw some villagers on... Well, food, actually. More on food. Okay, there's plenty of game to hunt all down in this location. Again, I'm just going to right-click him, or shift-click him all through that that area. And then go back home, keep making workers, don't stop making workers. Let's get up here and make a lumber mill. 
Lumber Camp. It's actually very tempting to send workers down here just to set up... Can I make a town center? No. I don't know what the restriction is on that that we need, but I want it. Let's turn that on before I forget about it. Okay. So we got a, we got some nice vision all around the map. Let's hotkey my units. I could continue scouting, I suppose. I haven't found the entrance to the enemy base proper, so let's just send those out. We will destroy this great tent. Genghis Khan will sleep in the dirt with the camels. Okay, there they are. So let's uh, run in on top of them. Keep making work. Don't stop making workers. It's very tempting, actually, to get stone. Just so that we can get some defenses set up. Because cavalry archers are not going to do too well against... Cavalry archers won't be doing too well against uh, buildings, like defensive structures. Okay, so we found their, their base. Let's head up here. That's our defensive location right now. Okay, and then you all make a mining camp. One of you make another mining camp. We need some more lumber. Cancel these so that I can go to tech level 2. And then you all hop on lumber. And then I'm going to send you guys down here to make a mill. As soon as you can. Okay. Almost killed my yurts. Okay, well that was kind of a spooky early attack, so we should probably focus on getting some units out like as soon as possible. Again, and I'll send these folks down here to continue hunting. We don't need that many extra workers to hunt, but again, our hunting as this faction is just simply better. So we should use that to get out of the feudal age and into the castle age as well, where possible. Again, really just needing more wood. There we go. So let's maybe like set this up down here. We can send more workers down there as well. They just keep sending in these jerks. So we don't have any... What kind of sucks is that we don't have any siege weaponry, so I'm not sure if we want to... I don't know. My idea with, with Mongolians, from what I can tell based on the Civ bonuses, is we want to just stack a ton of Hazars, Mangudai, and then siege weaponry, like cavalry. But we don't have siege weaponry, so I'm actually tempted to just make, like, knights or, like, pikemen on this on this map. Anything, like, just, like, frontline beef I really, really need here. Okay, I'm gonna queue up so that they attack these things. Okay, we're very short on food. We need to get into some lumber harvesting here as soon as possible. I'm gonna start that now. All our new villagers are just going to make farms. I mean, we have some hunters here, but it's not enough. We just... I mean, I, I shouldn't have pulled so many units off of food. Let's just go ahead and just set up these extra farms for now. I, mean, I think it's... Very important. Keep making workers. Put them on farms. I mean, we've got the lumber income now, technically, to maintain it. Again, I'm, like, in a super rush here to get up to Castle Age, because I would like to grab, I guess, knights. If we want more renewable food, we also need more, uh, we need more lumber. So it kind of goes hand in hand. So let's see. We're going to need a blacksmith. And we're obviously going to need a stable. So this all kind of goes hand in hand with what's required in order to get to Castle Age. And then just don't stop making villagers. Okay, so oh, I, I just don't have enough lumber there either. Okay, that should be a good amount of food. We're going to keep making villagers and then as we get more and more lumber... Yeah, you know, I didn't need this much stone in retrospect. That was a mistake. More folks on lumber for now. Let's get that blacksmith. 
We can get some cavalry upgrades as soon as possible. Can I make a town center now? No, still can't make a town center. That's a bummer. Okay, well these folks are still going strong and we can just make them farms later. To put them on farms later. I, I mean, I might have enough stone that like as soon as we get to the castle age, we can make a castle. That would be pretty solid. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade our cavalry for now. We've got the food to do it. Keep making villagers. Okay, we have a good amount on, on food now. Just keep hunting. There's even more down here. We can make another mill down there. And we're not wasting food because we're queuing up which one they're all harvesting from at the same time, which seems really, really important. Inventory cavalry. Let's do that. Uh, I actually think I can get... Can I get a tower now? If we, like, put it right up here on this hill. Yeah, we got the stone to do it, so let's do it. Okay, feeling pretty good about this. Oh, I didn't get the basic wood chopping upgrade. That seems really important. Wheelbarrow would also be nice. Let's grab that, and then we'll just maybe sit on our food until we can get... Uh, until we can get to the castle age. I'll get some stables and an archery range set up as well. Um, stable. Still learning my hotkeys. Okay, looking good. They're still doing their thing. Even just this one watchtower should help a lot. We could make archers and garrison them in there for more projectiles to come out of the, the tower. I definitely messed up my macro early on. Also, this non-symmetry is... I apologize. I'm going to do my best in the future to make that a little bit better for you. Okay, more workers. I'm actually going to rally them down here. Yeah, I still want you coming down here. Okay, and now we just need more food, which I'll, I think I'm going to continue hunting. Because again, it's a really, really good, really excellent means of food early on with that hunting. Let's grab bloodlines because that's the extra 20 HP, isn't it? get in here. Our watchtower is going to do good against the archers. Okay, we're getting chewed up here. What are you doing? Oh, I, I must have boxed her accidentally. Okay, just just back up. We have a, we have a watchtower. Hey, man. I'm just need more folks on food for now, so you guys hunt and hunt. And then you will also hunt once done. Once we get the castle age, we can also get a monastery up. I don't know how much our uh, castle's going to cost. As, f as the French, our castles were cheaper. I know that. Okay, let's get the farm upgrade. Seems pretty important. See, I can only make light scouts at this point. That's kind of a bummer. I never know where to pull workers from in order to build more stuff. Uh, I'm actually... Yeah, let's grab an archery range so we can get cavalry archers before we can get... Uh, Mangudai? Because Mangudai, I feel like, are just an outright replacement in that respect. Okay, great. You're doing that. You go ahead and hunt that one, and then we'll transfer them all wholesale. We're getting there. Again, I just need food. I guess I could have gotten a market in order to stockpile the food. I really screwed up with food early on. I didn't transfer enough workers down here, and then I ended up moving them all down onto uh, lumber instead of just building farms like I should have. I didn't have enough on lumber to support the farms. And I feel like macro, like macroing quickly on these early missions is very, very important. I guess what I can do with my extra lumber is just get like another stable. For example... 
Okay, now we've got the food that we need, so we're gonna go to Castle Age. In fact, it was a little delayed, but I think we'll be okay. We can get some more light scouts. We can grab some archers to load inside the tower. I'm kind of concerned they're gonna hit me over here next. We got a pretty good view of the map in general, so we should be in, in good shape. So, hunt, 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 and hunt. And we'll see if the Castle Age allows us to build another town center, which we can do over here because that gives us access to the extra gold, which we don't really need right now, but in the future. That's something. And I just want to get that, I want to get a castle set up like as soon as possible, so. There's a lot we can do at, at the Castle Age. We can get a monastery, we can get a university, we can get a castle, which is going to be huge for defense, and I'm just going to plop it right there, just like right here. But we have to survive in the meantime, until we get there. See, I can't even make cavalry archers, which is like my specialty at this point. Which is funny, because once you're at the Castle Age, you can get a castle and go to Mangudai anyway, so like, what's the point, I guess? I'm going to start moving workers down here to build the castle. I presume I have enough. I think as a French it was like 450, which means we probably have enough now. We'll see kind of risky to assume. But again, I'm suspecting I'll be okay. We'll, we'll turn those all on, on farms here soon enough. Castle Age. How much was that? 650. Oof. Okay. Again, I'm used to the French where it's like relatively cheap. Okay. Keep making workers. Can I make a town center now? I can, okay. So maybe we just like get a town center right here and then we can harvest from these, uh... Do the, do I, can you get lumber from bushes? I actually don't know. Let's level up our farms. I'm gonna get hand cart. This is kind of weird, I think, for this faction, but I'm gonna make knights. Like, I don't want to, but I actually kind of think, I actually kind of think that it's the right choice. And hear me out, it's because I can't make siege weaponry. Like, I explained earlier why I thought that knights would make sense. Again, it's like, I need some frontline beef. Even just, like, men-at-arms could be good. Let's just draw these into my tower. Oh god, castle, please. Of course. Of course that's what happened. Okay. Light scouts and knights, get down here and finish this up. And in fact, my watchtower should be good enough to do this. Let's go ahead and just rally workers down here, and then the extra workers from it we can make that town hall out of. Let's see if, if my knights were the right choice. Again, they're, they're a lot beefier. They're way better than light scouts, even though our light scouts are cheaper and they get an HP bonus. But I still think that this is actually going to work really well on this map because we don't have the siege weapons, so like these can run in and destroy towers at a reasonable rate. Our castle is just about done, but this is what we got stuck with, unfortunately. Okay, so I want to make a... Monastery. I want to make... I just want one minor, please. I want to make a university. And I want to spend my gold to just keep increasing my... Archers and cavalry archers. Definitely fletching as well. Okay, well, I mined out on stone. Let's get a couple monks to heal my stuff out of combat. Wow, so... Like, this is what I was talking about, though. Like, look how look how close this all came down to. I I mean, I, I wasn't necessarily rushing, but, like, damn. That was, uh... That was no joke. Okay. So there we go. And we've got our castle. So now I feel very safe. I think we're fine now. Okay, you all hit this, and then I guess go on lumber. Looks like we can harvest from the... Okay, the yeah, the bush you can harvest from, and the bamboo. No, 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 no. I had you guys on these, on these farms for a reason, please. 
Upgrades have been very helpful, and we can start making mango die now. So let's do that. It's a good amount of gold. So let's let's start let's start going crazy with gold. Still learning my hotkeys. I have learned to leave one space. You all have told me. Someone told me at some point when I maybe when I was streaming the tutorial originally, but one space between your mining camps and either the stone or gold to maximize the distance of the mining. I don't know. Seems right. So yeah, I don't I don't regret moving into some knights. Like I don't think I'm gonna do this typically, but if you go knights in this case and then Mangudai and then just mix in light scouts, we should be great. Let me go ahead and hot kill my production. We don't need any cavalry archers at this point. My question is though, do the Mangudai benefit from the same upgrades? Attack range, armor, speed, hit points. Yeah, it looks like it. Accuracy and armor from the archery range. Oh yes, thumb ring. Okay, very important. Uh, and then, again, we're gonna go crazy on gold for now because Mangudai are just gold and lumber. We don't have any stone. I will upgrade to light cavalry and get husbandry. We got the upgrade that just gave all our cavalry 20 HP. I don't think we're going to be making cavalry archers ever again because the cost, it's 40, 60, 55, 60. I mean, again, considering it's our special unit, I assume they are that much better. So let's, let's go for it. There's more trees up there too, so we can, uh, we can transition. Uh, upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. Uh, let's grab gold harvesting, lumber harvesting. I know that's not the name of the upgrades. Give me a break. Might need to even transition some more on food. My base layouts are just going to get messy in over time as I realize the speed at which we need to act. It's just going to make me more... What are step lancers? It's just going to make me more frantic to like lay stuff down. Light cavalry unit with increased attack range. Strong in groups. Weak pieces, camel, camel, camel riders and archers. Can't speak. So what's the difference here between light cavalry and step lancers? Like, I see the cost difference. A little less food, but also gold. It's kind of curious how this, this would queue up. So if you have two selected and you hit it once, it'll add a queue to one of them. Keep making manga die. Got some monks. Do we have any valuable monk upgrades at this point? I doubt it, but... They move faster. Yeah, I'll do that. University. Eh, I don't need that. Fire more accurately at moving targets. Yes. And murder holes. Might as well use the stone that we've got. Okay. Yeah, nice work, skirmishers. You're really doing it. <laughs> Keep it up, buddies. So I'm going to keep making... I think I'm going to keep making knights, and then I, I mix in these step lancers just because I'm curious. I don't know what they're... what they what they are. So it says that they have longer range. Increased attack range. The only thing I can think of is, like, you're typically making light scouts, right? And there's only so much surface area that you can attack something with melee units. So you have, like, a ring of light scouts, and then outside of that you can have the step lancers, and then outside of that you've got your mangudai. So I think that seems like how we're going to want to progress in the future with, like, the Light Cavalry Step Lancer. Uh, I'm, again, I'm only making knights in this case to compensate for the fact that I have no... I have no... Siege Weaponry. So, like, Mongol Knights? Mongolian Knights? I don't think you would have seen that in this army composition back in the day, but... Uh, oh, there's Nomads. So these are our special upgrades at the castle, the little crowns. It's like, at this point, though, I, like, I don't need that. I, why would I need those? We can't get Elite Mangu Die. That's Imperial Age, I imagine. All of our income is looking pretty good. I don't really... I don't think I need many more... Um, I don't think I need many more... Let's go Mangu Die. Uh, workers. I mean, at this point, just because our, our build queues are full, we can throw in some Cavalry Archers. And then let me check my upgrades... Infantry. Again, it says archers and cavalry archers, and I assume that includes Mangudai. 
So let's go ahead and get those upgrades as well. And then the rest, I think, like this one is just infantry, which I'm not going to be making. Though I guess maybe pikemen, because the enemy is going to be having a lot of ranged units, could be okay. Camel riders could be okay in this instance again, because they're going to have a lot of cavalry also. I'm just going to spend my money, and then I guess let's make a safety save. I'm feeling pretty comfortable to move out. I don't really I don't know what I realistically need to win here. I just need to kill the guy and he's just st he's just sitting there. He's behind walls, maybe. Well, I guess we'll figure it out. We have to attack red one way or another, so. So I'm like making a mixture of knights and light cavalry. I'm going to keep making step lancers. And again, I'm just sort of making a bizarre mix of units in this case, but it's all cavalry is kind of the ultimate point here. And there there are no other upgrades that I can get. I've just I think I've gotten my my economy to a point where it's relatively stable. What I'll do just in case for lumber is get another. Get another lumber mill set up up here. I don't even need those. Whoop! Didn't mean to do that. Again, escape doesn't actually cancel stuff. We got a good amount of mangu die. Again, I, I think we could, I could, I could pop off a lot faster. I'm floating a lot of resources as well, but I'm just a little nervous, to be completely honest, on like what I think I can afford and what I can't afford. Yeah, we got a lot of knights in here. I think, I think we can go. Let's move our, let's just rally our, our hotkeys up here and let's go. We can have the the monks follow up just to kind of heal us out of combat. This is a very, again, it's a kind of a bizarre cavalry composition, mostly because the knights are in there. I imagine it's Mongolians in the future just because of our light scout bonus. We get up to Imperial Age and just go Hazars instead of knights. Because we'll have the siege weaponry to take care of buildings. And, and, uh, and we won't need as much upfront meat. Okay, here they come. Is our guest. It would be most and we're just we're just mowing them down. They've got a lot of skirmishers, but we have enough front line that they're not getting to our mangadai or cavalry archers in the back anyway, so it's fine. Absolutely fine. Don't get caught up attacking this stuff. Uh, let's hotkey. Let's just make sure we're always hotkeying the mangadai to run forward. Everybody, move in. We want to make sure that we can clean this up. So Mangudai just kind of sit in the back and cover us while my frontliners just focus down the rest of this. And then meanwhile, I'm just going to continue making stuff. I will say, this definitely seems... Uh, this is definitely harder. Run away. This is without a doubt more challenging. So I have to get used to this. If I, I have all my buildings hotkeyed and I have to click on each one individually to queue up more stuff. Okay, so that should do it for the Karikitai. Kill their workers, that should cause them to retreat. Apparently, Town Hall and workers causes them to give up. They aren't giving up. Maybe they have some workers up here. I mean, I could just destroy all their buildings. I could also set them to neutral. And steal from their market. Yeah, they're still in the game. And that means they have, like, a worker somewhere. So he left. He's gone. He said, like, oh, he's they're here. Run. So I'm going to do this neutral. And then I'm going to make a market. And then I'm just going to steal from their, their market. I guess it's not technically stealing. We've just, just completely pushed them into submission. Just keep making Mangu die. We're going to rally up to here. Hang on, I have to keep changing what I have. I haven't seen those Step Lancers necessarily in action. I don't really have that many in here. So again, I'm just going to make a bunch of those. Let's destroy these walls so that we can get through quickly. Oh, here he comes. Looks like Red wants to continue building, so I guess I'll... Oh, there, there. Kill this man. 
They can dodge the Step Lancers, which I think is funny. Okay, now the Karakitai have given up. Let me go ahead and uh, and make a trade cart. Never mind, we're supply block because I'm really good at this game, I promise. Uh, I, get, I guess trade cart speed while we wait. Okay, let's go. We got a pretty large cavalry army here and we're supply blocked at 100, so let's give it a go. So we only have to kill the guy. So the hard part is going to be finding the guy. What I could do is just take, like, light cavalry that I have mixed in here and then just send them in to find him. I don't even know if any of my light cavalry survived. Whoa! Why does he have... Why does he get scorpions? I mean, I guess it's at the Karakitai were the ones that didn't have scorpions, so... Okay, so Mangudai are all hotkeyed. And I want the Mangudai covering us from units while my melee destroys buildings, because again, I have no siege weapon. Pretty large battle happening here, but I'm, I'm very confident that we're going to win, because I have a massive supply advantage. And to the point where I can just look away, and uh, let's go ahead and steal from there. Yeah, get rid of their get rid of that siege weaponry first and foremost. That's their town hall right there. He's got to be close, right? Oh, they have a oh, he's right there. He's right in front of their flipping castle. Just 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 go kill him. Every just ignore everything and kill that guy. I really hope it doesn't change to like kill his castle or something. Cuz he could have very easily been garrisoned. I've played enough RTS to know that if it says kill one thing, you kill that one thing. You don't do anything else. You don't try to do anything fancy. You just kill the one thing. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I think I'm doing okay. The key to this, like, I, I, for me, I sort of rushed. I'm sure this could have been done way faster, but from, from my experience in the game, I feel like I rushed very quickly to get up to the castle age. I made some mistakes with how my workers were allocated on what resources at the beginning, so I think we could have done it even faster. We could have gotten that castle up before that big attack with all those skirmishers and archers. So, especially if you start in the Dark Ages, I get the impression that the key in for any of these civilizations is figure out if you have any sort of economic bonuses and maximize those, especially around food. And then you got to get up to the Feudal Age and then up to the Castle Age. Get a blacksmith as your Feudal Age building, along with probably a stable or an archery range for your for your second feudal age building and then you've got to get upgrades up whichever ones benefit your, your existing starting units because it seems like upgrades are very important to help you survive the early attacks like way more so i think like plus one in starcraft or warcraft for example like plus one attack is good but doesn't necessarily make a, a huge difference whereas in this game like you have big armies clashing into each other it's very hard to micro individual stuff so i'm leaning towards i think those upgrades of the blacksmith are way more important and they research a lot faster and they're relatively cheap so i i think that a blacksmith for your feudal age building and then and then really just rushing to whatever composition makes the most sense for your sieve and in, in my case i think it's going to be mangudai siege weaponry which apparently can move super quick as, as Mongols, that's one of their bonuses, is, like, your siege weaponry is super speedy. And then uh, light scouts, which eventually be Hazars. Like, that, those three units together all should make a lot of sense. And we could mix in Step Lancers as well to kind of round out our melee comp. And I used Knights here again because I didn't have... I'm still... I keep, like, trying to justify it because I feel like so many people are like, why would you ever make Knights as Mongols? And again, we needed that frontline support here because I don't think our light scouts would have been able to do it because they weren't Hazars. And, uh... I had a lot of gold, so I figured let's go for it. At a certain point, I was like, I can't spend all this gold just on Mangudai, so let's mix in some knights. And it worked! And eventually, I think we just go Step Lancers instead. All right, cool. Genghis Khan knows that there are weapons aside from the lance and bow. He is a master of mental warfare. Just as he has made an example of Kushnuk, he makes examples of enemy lands. When we first encounter a new adversary, the Great Khan spares no one. We ride to the closest town, slay every living thing, burn down the city, sow the fields with salt, and make a mountain of enemy skulls. 
After that, the other towns are quick to send forth their emissaries, eager to placate the ravenous Mongol hordes. All right, very nice. And that whole end section where I was sitting on the victory screen, it's just me thinking out loud, and I'm, I'm really just looking for feedback. Like, do I have the, the right idea? The general right idea? I think so. I think I've got... I think I, I have a general sense of what I'm doing, but what I really need is the feedback from you all to tell me, like, Jay Bruno, you're on the totally wrong track. Um, I want to make sure that at least I have a good understanding of what I need to do, and then I can work on executing that properly, executing it faster. Because that's, you know, that's going to take time, that's going to take practice, but I want to make sure that I'm on the right track in terms of strategy, and then we'll go from there. All right, the next mission people have told me into China is like a huge map, like a real doozy, and that this is kind of like the height of this campaign. And uh, and that this was the bane of a lot of their their childhoods with Age of Empires 2. So I guess I'm I guess I'm excited to get into it. It's probably going to be a real long one, so All right, thanks for for hanging out with me today and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.